While the Alliance was marching against the Horde in the West, the East remained troubled by the lack of control it was able to exert over the renegade. While the Alliance was marching against the Horde in the West, the East remained quiet. However, a few demons had fled the fight against the ultimate evil, and so the free city of Bentos was about. While the Horde was raging in the West, fighting the Alliance, another evil was rising in the East. It all began in the city of Bentos, one of the free cities whose inhabitants were famed for their fresh breath. But our story begins in the vaults beneath the city, which connected the great temples together. Suddenly, and without warning, a mysterious portal opened. What the hell? The guard's exclamation proved not far off, as shortly thereafter, a demon hopped through the portal and lunged at the guard. Red alert! We're being attacked! Man the weapons! The Templar Knights responded quickly and diligently set to work destroying the incoming demons. At the same time, other such portals began to open in the city. The normal city guards, however, were not as sharp as the religious Brotherhood soldiers. A gang of shadow lurkers hopped out of one of the portals. Very emaciated demons, not exactly known for their intelligence. But it seemed as if a larger and much smarter power was guiding them. It looked like they were being controlled. Quickly, these little creatures made their way to another portal nearby to wait for other demons. guards were no match for the shadow lurkers. Another group, however, had now noticed the portal and were on their way to inspect it. The shadow lurkers had to hurry to eliminate them before they could sabotage the portal. And out flowed enchanting creatures. And enchanting was the word. A succubus, or more accurately, several succubi, poured out of the portal and joined the rest of the demons. They too seemed to be guided by a higher power. Let's call it, without anticipating events, the chaotic evil. A few guards that were loitering in the area were on their way to the nearest portal. This presented a great opportunity for the chaotic evil to try out the enchanting powers of a succubus. Why spend ages messing around when everything could be solved with brute force? The chaotic evil's thoughts went something along those lines, as it simply had the guards beaten to a pulp, saving the succubus's powers for later. In the meantime, a new demon portal opened a little further away. 
Out of it streamed demons, who unfortunately came face to face with some Alliance guards. The demons of the chaotic evil immediately set out to help them. A large group of guards had assembled and stood in the way of the demons. To make matters worse, there were some amongst them whose eyes could easily spot invisible beings. The shadow lurkers wouldn't be of much use here. the city of Mentos in two. This area was heavily guarded, too heavily for the still weak army of the chaotic evil. The demon invasion will probably grind to an inglorious halt here. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course it won't grind to a halt, because just at this moment another portal opened, from which mighty pit fiends emerged. These massive demons wouldn't have any problem storming these defenses. The chaotic evil's army secured the square with ease. It seemed as if the army of the chaotic evil would never ever reach that portal. Yes, the same portal that I mentioned a few minutes ago. The one where demons are fighting for their lives. The one that will very soon be dead, gone, no more, an X-Portal. Creatures of the chaotic evil arrived and secured the portal. But the other side had used the time well. A large alliance army had gathered and entrenched themselves here. Hold your positions, men. No one has ever breached these walls. Well, it was about time. The chaotic evil put its whole trust into its newest army recruit.
Square was captured. A huge demon portal opened straight to oblivion. Wait, no, not oblivion, somewhere else. Birmingham, we don't want to be sued again. But this portal would not activate on its own. It needed to be charged up. Workers flocked to finish the portal. The chaotic evil had to protect the workers and the portal in order to secure its reinforcements. The city's defenders would never sit idly by and wait for this monstrosity to be completed.
The portal was fully charged. Now the army of the chaotic evil could no longer be stopped. A continuous supply of reinforcements flowed out of the portal. Bentos was lost. And now you're thinking with portals too. Very good. There was another portal needing to be freed. This was in the underground and was surrounded by the Templar Knights. Only when their temple had been destroyed would this last portal be ready. The portal on which everything else depended. collapsed with a loud crash. The demons had taken the city. The portal in the underground was freed. It was different from the other portals. It was not only a link between the worlds, but also hid its own secret. The chaotic evil.